Aloha, I'm Terry Lilly, a marine biologist here in the Hawaiian Islands. I hope you enjoy my film. Over the last three years, I've been studying a massive outbreak of a cyanobacterial coral disease up and down the coastline. I recently went to the beautiful cove at Pila'a, which is quite isolated from the town and surrounding people and farmlands. I wanted to go out on the reef here at Pila'a and see if the coral disease had infected this part of the area. I paddled out on my kayak and as I dropped down to the bottom for the very first time in the channel at Pila'a, where there's normally way too much surf, wind, and current to successfully do a scuba dive. But this day it was extremely calm, and so I decided to go out and take a video of this part of the reef. It was actually quite beautiful. It's about 40 feet deep, and it's a deep cut in the reef that's caused by the waves breaking over the outside of the reef at Pila'a, and then funneling out through the middle, carving this big canyon. Lots of fish like this big omilu, hundreds and hundreds of different fish, eels, many, many, many different species from eagle rays all the way down to the little wrasse. When I got to the bottom, one thing I noticed right away was some of the yellow lesions on the rice corals. And this is a cyanobacterial disease. We're quite baffled on why this disease is breaking out all over the North Shore of Kauai. The other thing that I found right away was that many of the corals were dead on the edge of this steep cliff underwater, partially due to this cyanobacterial disease you can see in the picture right there, but also due to that there was a whole bunch of fishing nets covering both sides of the walls of this once very beautiful canyon that was covered with coral. This is a problem all over Kauai and we have to educate our fishermen here to be a little bit more careful on where they place their nets. This area, like I said, has very violent surf and it looks like a lot of nets have been washed out into the channel. I found at least 10 infected rice corals with the white coral disease, the cyanobacterial disease, which is very alarming at this isolated location. The rest of the reef, though, looked fairly healthy. There was a lot of fish, and up in the shallow water, as you'll see in a little while, there was a lot of old-growth coral. Here you see most of the native Hawaiian fish that we really want to see out on a reef. But on each side of the reef, it looked like a ghost town of these old fishing nets. It was really quite an eerie experience. There's deep caves behind these nets with all kinds of cool fish back there. But these nets have killed most of the coral in the canyon at Pila'a Reef. Here I'm going back into one of the deep caves where you can see the light shining down to the bottom. More of the coral disease, not a good thing to see out here at Pila'a. After the first dive, I went into the bay at Pila'a close to shore. The good thing is there was a lot of healthy coral there. I was really quite surprised. Healthy rice corals. Some of these corals are 50, 60, all the way up to 100 years old. So it was nice to see at least a relatively healthy coral garden on the inside lagoon. But like on the outside, I found cyanobacteria coral disease. This is the black band coral disease. You can see the black band, the white part, is a dead coral that the bacteria ate. The light brown part is a living coral. What's really bad is this disease eats these corals at about four inches a week. So a hundred year old coral only takes a month to die. The rest of the coral species out at Pila'a looked quite well. There were beautiful cauliflower corals, big gigantic mound corals and finger corals. This stretch of the reef actually is a lot healthier than most of the near shore lagoons that I've been diving in in Kauai. Here's a beautiful blue rice coral, which is actually quite rare. Big giant finger corals and cauliflower corals. All of this is only in about six to eight feet deep of water, a stone's throw right off the shore at Pila'a. One of the problems we're having along with this coral disease is runoff, 
We're having mud running off from our creeks and rivers. We have toxins and pesticides running off from our farmlands. So we're concerned that all of this may be causing some of this coral disease outbreak, but we're not really sure yet. This coral disease, you can see here, these big white patches is all up and down the coastline. So it may be something of the magnitude of some of the Navy testing or even maybe GMO chemicals in the water. Here you can see a gigantic old mound coral that's hundreds of years old, just beautiful. In order to preserve our reefs on the north shore of Kauai with this devastating coral disease, we need to get out there with cameras and scientists and testing equipment so we can find out exactly what's going on on our reefs. The reason why I chose Pila'a, once again, is because it's quite isolated. There's lots of surf and lots of current that keeps the reef clean. As you can see, there's very little sediment buildup on this reef. Other parts of the coastline, like Waipa and Hanalei, have a lot of sediment, a lot of current, and a lot of continuous mud flowing onto the reefs. So it's good to compare these two areas to see what's keeping the reef healthy and what's potentially killing the reef. Thank you for watching.